Hello everyone, I'm back again. I thought um, I would come back on because I ended up having to repeat my card as many as many of you saw from my video that I made a card today, this one here. <laughs> and I actually used the copper, which I must say it looks absolutely stunning, but we don't have copper anymore, sadly. So we'll have to ask Stampin' Up! to bring that back because it looks amazing. Um, but I've used it with the gold and I quite like it. I think it is gorgeous. This technique's a lot of fun, super easy. And I just wanted to show you how easy it is to make this card because tomorrow I'm going live and tonight this is getting posted and I thought I'm never going to end up making it for you. And I know that you'd love to see how I did it. So you could use any embossing powder with this really. Now all you're going to need is your card base. I've done the Poppy Parade size, so if you have my card templates, you'll know what I'm talking about when I say the Poppy Parade, even though this is Night of Navy. So that's the measurement for that. If you don't have my card templates, um, you can just, where can you find them? You can go to my, our blog, kyliepatucci.com, and I'm pretty sure that they're under the tutorial section. And if they're not, I'm going to put them there. <laughs> um, are they there? No, they're not. Oh, they're under shop and then tutorials. So there you go. Go to kyliebatucci.com to have a look at our card templates. And then I've just got the stitch nested in the Whisper White cardstock. I've actually just used, I had some leftover thick. But it doesn't matter if you use thick or not. Or shimmer even. Shimmer would be nice. And I've used this sized, so the largest in the second set of the dice. Now, what I'm going to do is, I think firstly we'll do our little background here so I can show you that technique. So I've got some Versamark here. And all I did was just come in with the Versamark and kind of do the same look. What side should I use? I think either side. Oh, no, we'll do this side, actually, because it's got more grooves on this side. So I just kind of smushed. Yes, that is a word. Smushed little sections here that I've just dragged the Versamark over the top of. You don't have to use a lot. And you don't have to be too particular here either. And just done that in little sections. A little bit there, maybe. And a little bit down there and it doesn't matter about the middle section because we're going to be covering that and then i came in with the gold emboss and this time i definitely have the gold <laughs> as opposed to grabbing the copper accidentally that's why you should always update your retired stuff i'm gonna to have to get some new gold running out Pop that back in and then just drop some more on this side. And what's cool about doing this sort of embossing is you can be quite like, it doesn't have to be exact, which is kind of fun. So just flutter that off. Make sure that you've got something covering your work because you're going to end up with specks everywhere. <laughs> And then what you can do, if you think that there's some areas that have got too much, which here I feel this is too much. So all I'm just going to do is just drag that out and drag this out here and soften that there, soften that there. And it's trying to, it's just kind of pulling it away a bit so that you can see more of the embossing and it doesn't matter if there's some sprinkles or anything so it's kind of very rustic um embossing uh we'll move that over there in a sec i'll grab that in a moment but for now let's emboss this i'll try and i'll try and miss that bit there <laughs> otherwise we'll, we'll all be like no embossed <clears throat> say hello when you jump on and if you haven't seen my videos before, no, I am actually sideways on purpose in case you're wondering, oh my goodness, she's sideways. No, I really want it to go onto IGTV in the 
sideways a sideways <laughs> format. There we go. So that's the cool thing. You can just turn your, your phone sideways and everything is fine. Hi everyone. I'm just gonna say hello. Oh hi from Germany. Oh from Holland. Oh that's great. Yeah, I really like this technique too. I think it's it sort of matches the dot. And by the way, this embossing folder, this is brand new. This is going to be available to demonstrators on the 1st of December. Um, so it's a good time to join Stamping Up because um, from the 1st of December, you'll be able to order that only if you're joined. So... Just think about that option. Gorgeous. And look how it's picking up those specks. It's so pretty. And it kind of just really highlights that beautiful folder. Um, I've got my mini catalog here. So this is the new catalog that we're talking about. I can't show you inside, but there's lots of gold. And, and this is the fine floral that I'm showing you today. It's on the front cover and it is absolutely beautiful. So the actual name of that folder, just to get it exact, because <laughs> I, I never get it right, <laughs> is, where are we? Not Dandy Garden, not Love You Always. It's the fine flora, ah, page 32 to 34. So if you have a catalog there, which Excitedly, all demonstrators should have their catalogs now. So it is called the Painted Texture 3D Embossing Folder. So that's the Painted Texture 3D Embossing Folder. Now, before we put this away, I do want to... Oh, actually, no, I will need it again. I'll just pop it in there. And I'll grab that a little bit later. I'm going to use that for something else. So we've got that, we're going to stick it onto the Petal Pink base, which surprisingly, I really like that combo. And then we're just going to do some stamping here. And I'm going to come in with the stamp set from this same suite, which is called Art Gallery. Again, available for demonstrators 1st of December. So put that on your shopping list, demonstrators. And if you're not a demonstrator... Time to join. And these are the brand new brushes. Yay! Blending brushes. So I'm going to come in with some petal pink. You can dab off if you want to, but it's pretty good if you're just really soft with it and don't sort of jolt. Just come in really softly and then go firmer. And you can colour in that little base. Isn't that beautiful? And they're so soft and luxurious. Like really beautiful. Some people have said that they've washed them just with water. Personally, what I've decided to do is do one in the pinks and reds because you get three brushes. So I'm going to do ones in pinks and reds, ones in blues and greens, and then one in neutrals. And I'm not going to wash them. I'm a rebel. <laughs> I might wipe them off with a bit of, someone said they used some microfiber and they just wiped it off on that. And I was like, yep, that sounds good to me. I haven't got time for washing. Forget that. <laughs> I can't even wash my own clothes. No, I do wash. Oh, well, actually, Bruno, <laughs> Bruno washes our clothes around here. <laughs> I do the dishes and he washes the clothes because he's just so amazing. Then I'm just going to stamp in Night of Navy and just make sure that you use your stamp and pierce mat underneath here i have a really messy grid paper here you'll forgive me won't you do i have another one? Oh no i've got another one here oh sorry i almost knocked you i almost dropped you all <gasps> that could have been very scary for you all could have landed face first so i'm going to use my grid paper and come in with this beautiful flower it's really important with polymer to have the pierce mat do stamping here and actually I, I found this little technique really nice where you just you've stamped once 
and then you just stamp it again a little bit slightly off and look at this <gasps> how pretty is that it looks like it's 3d it sort of just has this little shadow effect with the flower and i love it chop it and then a little bit off and you'll see it a little bit more here i've done it a bit more defined isn't that cool and I'll just do one on this side, just a little flower there, just to fill it in. Actually, I'll do this little bit here, just for fun. There we go. And then I'm gonna come in with this flower here. Now, just so that you know, even though there's only one of these sort of secondary stamps, they it does actually do all three. So if you wanted to do like a, a second layer, then you can use this one for all three flowers. I'm just going to do two of them, but it does work for all of them. Handy little tip. So I'll just stamp that. I think this first flower I'll do. This one seems to fit it the best, this flower here. So I was like, oh, really? Is there only one flower that I can stamp twice but if you sort of move it around a bit then you can actually get it to fit the other flowers bit clever isn't it and I'm also going to do gold emboss on that uh, that one there and that one there there's always pieces in my embossing tell you what look at this <laughs> quick let's remove it while I can <laughs> And this bit here too. Look at this chunky bit of, I don't know what you are. But anyway, it's out now. Good. And then we'll emboss that. Whoa. The magic of embossing. And I don't actually mind here, there's a little bit of, that's captured on that second flower, but I like that. And I'm actually going to do my little technique here. Some of you have probably seen it before, where you get the Versamark, like what I did with the um, layer, the first layer. Just want to move that powder out of the way a bit so that you can see this. So what I'm going to do is just come in here and stamp on the edge. So in, the, in that little space here and also stamp a little bit over the top of this space here and a little bit down there too. And then all you're going to do is just do a little bit of sprinkle over the top there and that just adds a little bit of extra sort of nice texture to it. Now you want to come in really softly. I've done the first the first heat so that it doesn't blow it all the way too quickly if I came in too strong then it probably would blow it away but if I use that first heat it seems to be enough to allow it to stick I don't know if any of you have seen the guy that salts his meat and he gets salt and he puts it on his elbow and he calls it salt bay he's called salt bay so this is what I call the salt bay embossing technique. And no, this is actually embossing powder. It's not salt. <laughs> but it reminds me of that guy that does the salting on the meat. <laughs> yeah, I really like it. It just sort of adds a little bit of texture and yeah, I like it. Just something a bit different anyway. It's good to try new things. And then we can pop that back in. There we go. And then, what are we going to do next? Oh, just the sentiment. See how nice and easy this is? It's brilliant. So I've got the stamp set here. I've got, sorry, those dogs are going crazy. We're dog sitting at the moment. And as soon as they hear a human or a sound, they're like, crazy. Our doggies don't bark like that. It's only it's only the, um, the visitors. <laughs> And then, can you believe it? The classic label punch goes 
perfectly with this. You can use the dies that come with this set, but I really love this, just the clean, neat lines in this. And just punches are just so nice and easy too. Keeps things simple. We need simple these days, don't we? And if you want to, you can come in and grab your brush and just do a bit of sponging around the edge here of your dot of your cutout. And it just adds this, I don't know, little bit of zhuzh. Just something minimal. It doesn't take much to do it, but I think it, it really makes that sentiment pop out. And, oh, we've got to do our inside too. We can't have, we can't have a naked card. No, D Rudy. And so we'll just do the same flower. And I'll grab my stamp and pierce and this one again. And just stamp that off on the edge. Oh, there's a piece of Kylie's hair. And just stamp that there. Beautiful. Look how quick and easy that is. Now we just have to stick it all together. As I said to you, quick, quick, quick. Nice and simple. Simple dimples. So just embossing folder. And there's just so many gorgeous things from the catalog. Remember that when you join, you'll get 20% off all of your purchases. You'll get access to exclusive products and special events. You get to come along to special events with our team and with Stamping Up. I'm going to put that on dimensionals, of course, because we love dimensionals. They're the best. But, yeah, it's great to get that discount because it's, you know, we know what we're like. We see all these new products and we're like, yes, I want it all. Give it all to me now. And to get 20% more for your dollar, because, you know, let's face it, we're not going to save money. I'm not going to say save 20%. Just spend the 20%, but get more. <laughs> get a bit extra <laughs> for what you're spending. And this sentiment, we're going to use the little mini dimensionals for this one. They're so cute. Look how tiny they are, but they're perfect on this classic label. Thank you, Stampin' Up. We love all our little dimensionals. And then I'll just stick down the inside. You can use your take your pick tool to take them off, by the way. If you don't have nails, it's very handy. I think I'll do it up there. Yep. Yeah. Always like... Is it there? Is it there? Yes, there. And glue the inside. Whee! I use Tombow because I like the wiggle. Because I can never put things down straight. I'm always like, oh, it's crooked. And now I've got to rip my paper. But this way, I just go wiggle, wiggle. And it all lines up perfectly. So there you go, my friends. Do you like that little whip up? I love this card and I hope that you can um, really enjoy that technique, that beautiful folder and enjoy the technique of what I've used with the salt bay technique with the embossing folder, not with salt. <laughs> and that you get this beautiful suite that you put it on your shopping list. Has anyone got the fine, what's it called? Fine Art Floral. I have to learn all the news, all the new names. Fine Art Floral is the winner. Oh, and there's one other thing that I did actually on my other card that I really liked, but I don't know if I can do it now. But what I did was, oh yeah, I could probably still do it. I'll show you. I got my die, just for another little technique for you. Actually, I should be able to lift this up, move him out of the way for a second. Thank you, little one. And what you can do is just trace in here with the stamp and write markers. Just trace, and it can be quite rough. You don't have to be spot on because you kind of want it to look like you've hand drawn it because, you know, some people can do these things. 
and and do them without being crooked. <laughs> That's not me. But I just love that little accent that it adds too. That's another little idea with the stitch nested label dies is you can create a little internal frame as well. You're lovely. Aww. Isn't that nice? So enjoy that and I'll pop it on my blog tonight, kyliebatucci.com. And if you're not following us on Instagram, make sure you follow and we'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. Mwah!